It's the Purple Wizards on a podcast. <laughs> Yo, man. Uh, uh, man. Yeah, 42, 3 o'clock. The meaning of life. Oh, God. Everything's falling apart. Yeah. The world. That's for reals. For reals. Someone I thought you get some of that. It's a butt heat. A little butt on. heat, man. So we're, we're periscopers now. <laughs> well, when you listen to this, who knows what will happen. Maybe we won't be on periscope anymore. Yeah, maybe periscope will be like... Well, no, because we, we, we did okay. We did okay. We did all right. Well, this will come out like almost a year from now. Yeah, this is like probably September. Mm-hmm. So... Yeah, who knows what we'll be doing. Maybe we're both stuck in. Maybe we're dead? Yeah, maybe we're both dead. Maybe you're listening to this posthumously. Yeah, hopefully I upload it so it's set to upload at least. So if, even if I'm dead and Nick's dead, it'll at least still guy. come out. There are reminders of what once was and what shall never be again. Yeah, the Marvel Wizards. I won't get to like get rid of it at the end of the third season either. Like, so it'll just be up there forever. So you can listen to the third season over and over. Right, just keep listening and having those memories. Yeah, the um, first two seasons though, they're gone. Out yeah. the window. Unless somebody knows my password, but since I'm known to have great passwords, <laughs> very complicated passwords, someone might be able to crack the code. Highly, highly secret, highly secure. Tough getting up in my shit. I think, I think it can work. I don't think it'd be too difficult. Getting up in your shit? Yeah. Getting up in my shit. Yeah? Yeah. That's good, man. Yeah. That's good. Uh, you know, we're in Canada. We're so in Canada it's, now. It's, that's a plus. Back in the land of the... Duh. Duh. The comrade. The comrade. Uh, so after this one, there's only going to be ten left. Ten left. And then it's going to be... Really, really going downhill now. Yeah. And that lady is talking up a storm, man. She is. She is. Maybe she's periscoping. <laughs> she's probably periscoping right now. Maybe she has text to, or speech to text. That's a long text message. Uh, but maybe she's like, she was texting, oh, I guess we're off periscope now. Maybe she was giggles. That was Giggles. Giggles, the, the periscoper. Giggles, worth the periscoper. Yeah, I wonder if, like, so maybe she went and, like, hit, you know, people in Washington and... That's like, probably what she did, is she just checked out people who were around her. It's like, oh. That's what I do when I pop on a periscope and I just look at the map. It's like, oh, I wonder what people in Portland are doing. Yeah. Like, oh, maybe I know these people. One day, I just got done lifting. Yeah. Uh, uh, L-Y? Like, yeah, or L-Y. 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 Kind of lift this. Okay, kind of lift this. Not and to be confused with... Uber. Uh, Uber. <laughs> blowies. Blowies. Uber for blowies. Anyway, I just got done driving for Lyft, and I got home, and I checked out Periscope, and the only Periscope in Portland was... Wow, it was hard to say. The only Periscope in Portland, it's a lot of hard peas, uh, was this one guy... And the title was, Let's Get a Lift and See How Far They're Willing to Go. Oh. And I was like, damn it! Yeah. That would have been awesome! You could have been part of the Periscope And I could have probably made so much money off of them. Yeah. Like, oh, you, you, I'll keep driving. I'll just, just keep driving. You're paying. Yeah. Just, we'll go and go. We'll go wherever you want. That's kind of a cool concept. Yeah. I want, where'd you go, though? I don't know. I don't know how far out you can go. Like, how far can you actually go? Oh, I don't know. Can you go, like, just forever as long as you're attached to the app? Yeah. Uh, I have no clue. I've never, I've never been Lyft or Uber. I have no idea. But the, I, I don't know if there's rules regarding it or what. What about cab drivers? Can you hail a cab and just tell them to take you to the next city? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if you have to have a business license for a different city. I feel like you must, because I had to get a business license to be a Lyft driver. Yeah. So I think that's what the dealio is. Interesting. So I think you only go so far. Fascinating. But, you know, I'm not, I'm not a spokesman for... We are no, no, not affiliated in any way, shape, or form with any of the companies being 
talked about today besides Lyft who I drive for, and I, my opinions do not represent those of the company. Yes. And me, who I have no clue about any of the shit. <laughs> Just talking about my fucking ass. Yeah. But scientifically speaking. It's fucking ass. Yeah. Not to be confused with it, it's regular ass. Yeah. It's the fucking ass. Boy, go get my fucking ass. Is is uh is out in the tool shed by the guns. Boy, you know where my fucking ass is. It's right next to the twenty-two. Oh, okay. I found your fucking ass. Did you wash it off first? Oh, I washed it last time. You gotta wash it again. You gotta keep your fucking ass clean, boy. Did I teach you nothing? Do I use soap and water or bleach or something? Boy! I taught you before. I've been teaching you day in and day out. You wash it with the highest end fucking ass cleaner. Or, okay, I, I found the fucking ass cleaner. Boy, now wash my fucking ass and bring it to me. Do I wear gloves to wash your fucking ass? <laughs> Boy! What are they trying to teach you at that their school? Trying to cram the book learning into your skull and forcing all your fucking ass learning in. Forcing all of it out onto the ground, boy. Boy, this has been a family business. The fucking ass business of the fucking butt people for years, for generations. Your father, me, and my father before me, and his father before him, and uh, so on, and etc., etc. They were all fucking ass wearers and fucking ass peddlers. They sold fucking asses to the founders of this country. So, boy, you best be learning what it's like to deal with a fucking ass before I beat. Your fucking ass. In the figurative sense, not the literal sense this time. So, my, is my son, he'll, he'll be uh, in the fucking ass game, right? He's, he's gonna be a good little fucker, ass fucker, fucker. He's not, he's not an ass fucker. He's, he's a fucking, in the fucking ass game. He likes, he's really into the fucking ass game. He likes the ass, the fucking ass play. <laughs> do you, do you think he has the fucking ass, uh, <laughs> the fucking ass that's gonna be able to produce those high numbers of high volume, high call volume, high turnover rate, and the, the fucking ass business. Boy, I tell you what, he better be. I know that he's gonna goddamn be a better fucking ass fucker than you will ever be. I am so disappointed, son. I'm so disappointed in you and your ass fuckery and every bit of ounce of things that you can muster in your ass fucking. I wish that you were never born. I wish that I was a single father who had killed his son for food back in the days, back in the time before time. I wish that I'd never had to speak to you again, son. Do you want me to go to the land before time to do some fucking ass play? Son, I can't, I can't, just go to your room, just go. That's, that's the show, man. That's the show, man. Uh,